Stephen Amell says that is so big, the CW will have to change its approach to its annual crossover events. Moving forward, next week, the CW's biggest Arrowverse crossover ever kicks off on and on a special night. The following evening will see the four-part even wrap up with an at their regular time. From what's been seen so far in the trailers, it is a project unlike anything the network has undertaken since launching the in 2012, which gives Amel's comments plenty of added weight. It's the name of the game, as the first crossover between and turned into a ratings winner, and demonstrated what a firm grasp of its DC Comics universe the CW's then two productions had. Since then, the Arrowverse has doubled in size, adding both and, making the annual gathering of heroes a massive commitment for not only the network, but also all of the actors involved, especially since reportedly unfolds more like a four-hour movie than a separate interconnected installments focused primarily on a specific show's cast. Related The Flash is Grant Gustin and on how Ralph Dibney makes season four more fun that requires some intense scheduling and as Amel told those taking part in a recent set visit, the lessons learned from needs to inspire some changes for the next event. Amel said, not get to inside baseball here, but they have made it bigger than ever. The crossovers this year took up six weeks of shooting. I think that in order for us to continue down this path, we as productions and the CW, as the network, and Warner Brothers, as the studio, are going to have to fundamentally reconceive how we execute these because this sort of broke the schedule mold. I mean it just simply didn't fit. I think that if we're going to shoot it like a big four-hour movie, we have to board it like a big four-hour movie. We have to prioritize the schedules of the people that are going to be working the most, if that's me, if that's Melissa, if that's K or T. Lots, if that's Grant. It's going to change year over year based off of story. It really is, for the first time, it's an event. It's not a crossover anymore. Call it the crossover if you want. But it's kind of like calling the Super Bowl just a football game. Yeah, sure, they play football, but there's so much other stuff that goes on with it. It's an event. Amel's comments offer some insight into how these crossovers are made, and the commitment they require from the cast and crew of these productions. As Amel mentioned, Oliver Queen enjoys a substantial role in, as does his doppelganger, presumably. That means actors like Amel and Melissa Benoist were pulling double GT to make sure both sides of the interdimensional conflict were adequately represented. Given that sort of workload in the middle of a season, it's no wonder Amel would like to see the crossovers blocked out and scheduled differently. With any luck, the length production on will pay off. The only downside to the crossover, excuse me, finding success will mean the next years will have to be that much bigger. Next. Begins Monday, at 8pm with AND. It continues on Tuesday at 8pm with AND.